Okay, so I totally love Teresa's new job plus. This is pretty much it in a nutshell. Hello and welcome. This is Alchemist X and this is the banner overview for the week of September 8th. So no Solomon, a very big surprise to me. They, they did the two weeks of POTK rerun just like in Japan and then they announced the Teresa Priscilla Job Plus event with the release of Kalmia just like in Japan and I was expecting Solomon to be released right around the same time which is what happened in Japan and nope just all of those things minus the solomon release so i i have no idea why if i had to guess i would think it was to fill a, an otherwise dead week later on to help offset just the lack of collabs that global tends to have maybe october would be an otherwise sparse month without it but yeah the downside is that now i don't have a very good idea of when she's coming it, it could be later this month or it could be like closer to the anniversary I, I i don't know they i don't think it'll be later this month because it'd be kind of weird to have potk and then have it end and then bring it back almost right away so it seems like at least a month would be a good guess but again it's just a guess so no idea so because i couldn't throw my discount tickets at what i was originally planning to do instead i chose the regnarok banner because Fairly inexpensive, two discount tickets at a five-step guarantee. That's less than 9,000 gems to guarantee it. I think Ragnarok is a really great unit. And while her memento doesn't have anything that like really, really pulls me in, just the more HP, more slash mod, and then if I decide to max limit break it, the more crit rate, along with VCR, it gives her more stats as she wants. And then being able to start the battle with high status effect resistance, I think is is handy so luckily as you can see here i pulled it on step two so it ended up costing me a thousand gems so that's pretty nice it's a good consolation prize for not getting solomon when i was expecting her so yeah that's all i've got for this little intro portion so let's go ahead and take a look at the banners and here we are at the banners so I don't really have anything to say about any of the paid banners. So let's just start with the main event, the Kalmia banner. So you cannot get her any other way than this. Not in the Louise shop. So if you want to guarantee her, you're looking at a little bit more than 30,000 gems. So a bit more expensive than the typical units you can transmute, but less expensive than a five-step unlimited. And then her memento is normal pool, so I'd keep that in mind, but more on the mementos later. Other three steps I don't think are worthwhile because Natsume and Irene can be purchased in the shop. And if you're looking to acquire them, there's also a banner that's really good for that, which I'll touch on in just a moment. I just have to get through this three-step unlimited, choose your own mostly normal pool, mostly farmable limiteds. So the only thing I really have to say about this is that if you can pick six of the units that are to the right of Sharon and Cheryl and you're like really there's like a few that you really really want and you ha for whatever reason haven't gotten a chance to get them then maybe but to me that sounds very very improbable so most people should just skip that banner so here we are this is the one I mentioned just a moment ago so if Irene or Natsume are your priority either acquiring them or enlightening them further then you can get 375 shards of them. That's a pretty hefty chunk of shards, especially if you have two discount tickets to apply to this. And then with the added bonus of you might get some other really, really good units along the way. If your luck is good, including all of the global units or Genesis units up to Ignacio and some other good limited units like Bianca, Naju, etc. Overall, I think that makes for a pretty good setup. And then if you're just looking for somewhere to burn discount tickets, you don't have to. It's, we're still at the beginning of the month of a five-week month, so don't feel like you need to burn them, but it, it's not a bad place anytime you can get a guaranteed five-star on every step with such a good potential pool. 
Okay, now we get to the Memento main event. So Kalmia's, as I said earlier, is normal pool. That being said, it does give you skill use count on max limit break. So if you really, really like her and want to get her fully kitted out, you might want to consider using reliefs on it just for that reason, because skill use count is always an excellent thing to have, especially because she seems like the kind of unit that could work fairly well in longer battles, as long as she has enough HP. And then Teresa and Priscilla's gives them just more of what they want. Like they share that memento. So it is a little economical that way, especially if you plan on using both of them. Just more crit, more counterattack power, etc. Teresa can get a shield. And then I think Priscilla, it's a bigger bump for her. Because like if you don't have Priscilla's memento, I think you might find her a little lacking. At least I have. Whereas Teresa, she can do what she, like the core of what she needs to do, which is mostly just not die, distract enemies a bunch, and hopefully take a bunch down with her counterattack. She can still do that without the memento, but the memento will just make her more potent. So yeah, if you are after any of those, oh, and the old one has a snowball and a nice skin to go with it. If you're after any of those, good banner, otherwise <laughs> move on. This banner, I think, is mostly bad unless you are trying to get Bashini kitted out and, like, you haven't gotten his newest memento. You could get it via the selector. If that's a really, really high priority. Otherwise, easy skip. I think the Soul Shard one's not worth gems. Just get too many for free over time. And finally, if there's anything POTK related that you want, like, what I did getting Regnarok's Memento or one of them for Logistilla, Cassius, or Lisa Not, you got to the rest of the, or until, or for the rest of the week to do that. So all in all, not a bad week for banners, aside from the giant shakeup that there is no Solomon. However, before I say goodbye, I will share one thing I noticed on the database. I don't know exactly how it works as far as what the owner of the database uploads, but I'm assuming that it's based on data mined content. And sometimes when I'm looking through mementos to get an idea of like what bonuses they offer, even though I'm in the global version of the database, Japanese mementos will still show up. And what I'm assuming is the case is that that means they're currently in the data. So a bunch of things were added recently uh, after the last maintenance, like the desert upgrades like Aswald, Ryle, Balt, uh, holiday stuff like the Halloween ones for Tethys, Cordelia, and among them was Solomon's Memento. So I don't know exactly when, but I, I think we can assume that, it's assuming they do decide to release her, which I assuming they're going to, because I think they have no reason not to, that it's going to be sometime between now and the holidays. But again, all of that 100% speculation. So anyway, if you are summoning this week, I wish you good luck, and I will see you all next time.